Hello, one and all. This is Luckless Lovelocks, and welcome back to Return of the Oberdin. I keep wanting to call it the Return of the Oberdin, but it's just called Return of the Oberdin. And uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say about that first episode. It was just, just crazy. Not what I expected from this game at all. It um, started off with the end. The captain apparently killing the remains of his crew. Um, from It looked like self-defense. And then we saw that earlier on in the trip, the ship was attacked by a Kraken. Um, there's one of the corpses there. And we're starting to just like open up the ship and unravel what happened in um, what happened to it leading up to the, the end where the captain just had to defend himself probably from a mutiny. Um, so in the comment section, a lot of you suggested that um, um, a way that we could identify this person was through their country. And let me just see. You were saying New Guinea. So Maba could be um, who that is. And it makes sense because he's a top man. And so that's the person that deals with like the, the like rigging and stuff like that. So let's um, let's set that in into our book. Of course, we could always change our mind if we want to, but I don't really know. Oh, I see. There's like two marks here. So if we get three, does that mean that because it says something about threes. There's something with threes, right? Fate validation. It's been a few days since I played, so I'm just using this to remind me. May or may not be correct. That's a three. At least three people and their fates to have the information types into the book. Okay. Maybe they fixed that because I remember part of some of that <laughs> moving by pretty quickly. So three of them. We have to identify three of them. This is, this is such a strange game, but I like it. I like it a lot. So we've got one for her. What does it say for the um, captain? Wait, what was that? Ah. The doom. I guess I could have just... So there's two notches here. Oh, that might also represent the number of memories that they're in. Okay. Um, I think that's the best we can do with what we've seen so far. At least the best that I can do. Let's uh, continue investigating. We can always go back to those memories if we want to. Let's go down. The bowels of the ship. That's locked, so we're going to be able to go in there later. Where the cannons are. So this is, what was it called again? Let's jump to the end, the glossary. Gun deck. The deck carrying the ship's guns and lined with portals for their firing. So this is the gun deck, and then who, who worked here? Could be seamen. The gunners. Military officer in charge of weapons and military procedures on the ship. General crew operations and equipment. Hmm. Helmsman, probably not. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know who else would be working here. Oh, you can hit Q to, do to get to the table of contents. Okay, good to know. Let's, um, oh man, it looks like this person was crushed by a cannon. Let's jump into our first, uh, our first memory. The episode. I'm excited! Sir, Lucy! 
Okay, now is this is because of the Kraken. Yeah, okay. We see the Kraken is attacking. Okay, so that's that person uh, close to the captain, actually. Oh, I can go around. Okay, good. Who's this? That looks familiar. The guy right next to the captain. I feel like maybe we'd seen him before. It's one of the important officers, though. Oh, shoot. I couldn't really see where that was. Okay. Who's this? Huh. Top hat. Looks like he was, like, torn in half. So, crushed by a cannon. Oh, and there's someone on the steps. Shoot. I didn't get a chance to see who that was. All right. Well, we're going to go back. On the gun deck. Four others were present. And we don't have enough information. But that was the guy who was crushed, so we know the fate. Crushed by cannon. By a loose cannon. And it tells you the dialogue to you. Okay, good. Oh, that's the third mate. Okay. It didn't I we couldn't see his fate, could we? So we don't we don't have enough information to figure out who they are. Including this guy. Mm. You gotta I'm not very good at like picking out uh accents. That's gonna hurt me. But I think you need to be able to do that. So once again, if you guys notice anything and you haven't played the game yourself and like figured out who they are. Let me know in the comment section if you notice anything that I might have missed. I'm, I'm happy to work on this with you guys. I think it'll be more fun that way. So this is right before... Obviously, a lot of this, this is all like happening at once, right? But in the book, it's happening before that explosion. And Abigail was crushed. Okay. So now we get a better chance to take a look at this. So who's on the stairs here? We could see them from above. Okay. Can I... E okay, they block you from going up. Okay, that's clever. I'm a s I don't know what this is supposed to be. Is it supposed to be like gunpowder? They're falling. They're not they're not dying though. Ah, this door opened up. Okay. This is like um This must be the kitchen? Yeah. Any is anyone else dead? There was the, there was the guy on the ground who looked like he was torn apart. That guy's alive. So just this guy. Ah, we can't really tell how he died though. His head, it looks like his head is blown off. I still don't see his other arm. But what caused that? I'm assuming it's the creature, but we can't be sure, right? Oh god, is that... No, that's... Okay, I was like, is that his head? No, that's a cannonball. Ah, I see. It's going to take us. That's the next corpse. Okay. This is so strange. So strange to me.
Oh, I can step over. All right. I just want to look over here. This door is... This door is open to us also. And there's another corpse over here. I'm gonna guess just based on where this person is, it could be the cook. Closest person to the kitchen. And these doors are actually unlocked. So nice. <laughs> what a nice place to sleep, right next to a cannon. I mean, makes sense, right? You gotta squeeze as many living quarters in there as you can. And then this. <laughs> so we've got a escape boat or something in this person's quarters. I don't even know. I don't think anyone was sleeping here. I think this is just storage. Looks like it was like a washroom. A knife. Huh. A knife and blood. Got another corpse in here. That might have been... This particular death might have happened earlier on. Or later. After the attack. Those clothes might be useful useful information. I don't I don't know how. Hmm. Did I go in here? Yeah. That's blocked off, so that's gonna open up. I just wanted to take a quick look around just to get some context here. This looks like a um, like a recreation area. There's uh there's a washroom, privy I should say. Yeah, a place where you could. I mean, it might not be recreation totally. Could be for like plotting, like plotting courses and stuff like that. Just for meetings. Just like a general like room that's used for like all kinds of stuff okay let's take a look at this corpse let's see where it takes us whoa holy crap now, wait a second, that's an explosion, isn't it? Did he get killed by the cannon? Whoa. Oh, that guy we've seen before, I think. Oh, and there, there's this guy again. But he's down here this time. So they're firing at the at the beast. How is okay, is that a backfire? I'm confused. It okay, it, it's it's okay, I guess I guess the cannon firing it, it like it like pushed back into the seat of it. So it looks like he got killed by a cannon fire. That's part four. Oh, and someone else died too. Shoot, I missed that. The fuse. There's two corpses there. Okay. I have no idea who this is. I, this is the guy that, like, was decap... Oh, I, I mean, he was decapitated, but... Not really torn apart. Shot by cannon. 
by an unknown attacker. Let's we're gonna go with um shot. Shot by cannon, because that's what it looks like. And I'm not I couldn't really see who it was, so we're gonna go back to that. This guy I didn't see. Okay, let's go back into it. Oh, there he is. That's why. That's another person, isn't it? They were crushed by the cannon. Wait. Is that someone? This guy wasn't really killed by anyone, right? It looked like it was just an accident, like the creature hit the cannon. See, that one's... So it's the cannon that was here. It looked like it was like knocked to the side. Maybe like flipped over even. It looked like it was knocked to the side by the creature and then it went off and it destroyed this guy. Oh, and he was loading this one. There's his hat. So... He would have been someone working the guns, but that's about all that we have. I can't even... Oh, there we go. It's him, okay. He... Oh. There he is. Don't know who he is. Um, how do I... That's this guy. Unknown fate. He was crushed by a cannon. I think that's the only info I've really got so far. Aside from these other people being here. And nothing else to see over here. Okay. Well. What's the next memory? Him, yeah. I don't know if I want to necessarily call them memories or events. Where are you taking me? Wait, what, right around to here? Can we... There we go. Alright, let's see this. Let's keep going. The lace spark. So that... There was a distinctive accent there. Was it Scottish? God, I don't know. Oh, man. That's, that sucks so hard. That's the guy. He's got to be an officer, right? <laughs> yep. 
Yeah, so he grabbed, so the, the beast grabbed the cannon, turned it to its side, and it was lit, as you can see. That guy got blown up. Looks like that guy survived. Crushed by the cannon, and that guy was blown up by it. These guys are trying to hit the beast. Uh, I couldn't really spot anything else. That's part three. Is that really going to give us... Still don't, still don't know enough about him to identify him. Don't know about any of these guys. So hold on, which guy is this? Let me go back in and figure out who this was exactly. That's him. Right? Uh, well, how did... This is his death. I don't... Is his neck broken or something by... Is he crushed? I guess he's crushed by the beast? He's like wrapped up against the cannon and crushed. So that's what I'm going to put. That's going to be an option, right? Crushed. By the beast. And the cannon, you could say. I guess. Okay, so who's next? I need to walk out of this one. So that's the whole, that's the whole series here, it looks like. Huh. Alright, let's, let's continue on. We're gonna need some more information, it looks like, on these people. I mean, eventually we're gonna see all the events and we're gonna need to make some, some choices. That's that corpse. Where's the third one, though? Oh, I see. One, two, three. This is the one that was crushed by the monster. Um, This was... Open the book while the pocket watch is open to flip directly to the relevant pages. Cool. Crushed by the cannon, yeah. Blasted by the cannon, yeah. I mean, I guess we could say that it was like the cannon that this guy was working, but we don't really know his name and it's not really his fault. So let's go to the next one. So if we do this, it takes us to that event. It takes us to that event. Very cool. All right. I really want to see this event over here. That's locked. Okay. Because this is someone we... Because of the proximity to the kitchen, this is someone we might be able to identify. Sounded like he was uh, going to the washroom at first. 
Damn, what a way to go. ES. ES. Locked. Just the initials, no picture. This must have been when the creature was first attacking. Everything's... Oh, wait. I was gonna say, like, everyone's alive and everything's intact. These... What's, what's going on here, though? Are they sleeping? I guess they're sleeping. 44. I can't read that. Everyone seems to be, like, just kind of chilling out. Okay, okay. Man, you really gotta pay attention. Part two on the bow. Well, how did they die? This is like way back though. So this creature must have been, assume, I'm assuming that like the parts are in chronological order. This creature must have been like chasing them for a bit and just killing people. Another crush by the beast. ES. Well, it's not Edward Nichols. It's got to be Edward Spratt, the artist. That makes sense. That's why he's not in the photo. Well done. Three fates correct. Crushed by a terrible beast. We got that. You guys were right. What does that mean exactly? <laughs> well, that reminds me of the pocket watch, right? The skull. And it's kind of going around the clock. So every time that we solve another group of three, it adds three marks. I don't know what that means. <laughs> but that's that was good. That was good. I think using the accents, we could maybe narrow down some of these people. If you guys recognize anything, let me know. Um, wait, how do I... In the Doom. Some of these people. But I don't think so. I think we need to keep looking. Um... Probably going back to part two. Continuing down this path, we might be able to identify some more of these people before they're being attacked. 13 others were present. We know enough. He's one of, I think he's one of the Chinese. And we know enough to identify him, apparently. At those, and that's it out of the people that were here. So cool. All right, everybody. We're in this. I'm going to take a break here, though. That was pretty good progress. Thank you so much for watching. This is Luckless Lovelock signing off for now. I'll see you on the next one. And I love you all.